Well, good morning, folks. James with uh, Triple J's Adventures. And this morning we are at Juniper Campground in the Gila National Forest. And uh, Juniper Campground is by Kamado Lake. Kamado is sits on I-60. And uh, let's see, between Daddle and the Arizona State Line. And if you take, I believe it's Highway 32, south of Kamado, you can get out here to Kamado Lake. And I forget which uh, forest road this is. And that uh, brings you off of Highway 32. But hopefully I can get that in there. And that takes you up to some other campgrounds. I believe it's Pinon and um, a few other dispersed camping areas. So, anyway... We stayed out here a few years back, back in 2017, I believe it was September, back when we had our pop-up, and so we decided to come back out again. So, it's a pretty nice campground. Right there would be a campground host, if we had one, but I guess right now we don't. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you come in, and look at that view. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the sun's just coming up this morning. So. so we are camped off over in that area. As you can see, that's going to be the RV loop. And if you go down that way, there is more dispersed camping, um, primitive camping, most likely tents or self-contained smaller units. But uh, this area over here in the RV side has water and electric. No sewer, but I believe there's a dump station up in Pinon Campground. They do have vault toilets. And we sit just above Kamado Lake. So I'll take you over here to the information board. So there is your fees $10. For a single site, five dollar dump station fee. Or no, oh, there we go. I'm sorry. Tents fit ten, RVs fifteen. But they do have reservations on the odd sites one, three, five, seven, so on and so forth. Which we are in site number nine. And again, that does have water and electric. So they do accept the uh, passes. America the Beautiful. So, anyway, see what else we can get into and show you around some other spots. Here's one of the things you get treated to. Oh, looky there, little baby. Oh, wow. Now that is just too cool. Yep. Like I was gonna say, that is one of the cool things you get treated to here at uh, Kamado Lake Campground. But I'm not going to get too close. Oh, there's more. <laughs> no, too cool. Just too cool.
So here's our site. Uh, like I said, we are in site number nine and we do have water and electric. And the way they have these sites, these RV sites set up is you have little sections of three. And uh, if there's anything that I could say that I, you know, it's kind of a bummer about the campground here is that they are pretty close, but you know, it's not any different than being in an RV park but this is a lot prettier. So, and they do have trails that kind of lead from the campsites and go over to the lake, so I'll take you down one of those. <clears throat> and water and electric. Barbecue grill, picnic table fire pit but again we are under a burn ban so that's no way no and we won't be doing no fires while we're here <laughs> so yeah this trail takes you off down that way to the lake I think I'm gonna go over here so I can get a little bit better picture of it. <clears throat> We're going a little off the beaten path, huh? So, it's not as full as it as it could be, but I'm actually kind of surprised it's as full as it is. Somebody's down there fishing. So I thought I'd ride down and show you some of those uh, primitive sites. Here's site number 26. And, uh, yeah, doesn't come with much. Got a little fire pit there. Someone's made barbecue pit and picnic table. And you get a small camper in here. Uh, plenty of room for tents. Like off over there. But again, no. No hookups, hookups at all. And then number 25 here. Kind of like a little pull through. Again, small trailer tent site. And that one kind of overlooks the little bit of the lake. And then on up around. There's a Quite a few of these little spots, so but, uh, yeah, overall pretty nice. Well, on the menu for dinner tonight is going to be Phillies, and I had to break out the electric skillet because of the fire ban. I can't even use a propane, my propane uh, blackstone. So, good thing we had that. So, uh, Phillies it is, and we're going to enjoy dinner tonight. And there's Truman, just relaxing and resting. Must be a dog's life. <laughs>